we are going to make a basket which looks like a tetrahedron and for this we need three elements like this and a fourth which is very similar this is going to be one of the four points of the tetrahedron a tetrahedron is actually a pyramid made with four equal triangles and we need a base like this to build a point like that and to make the base we need some basic elements like this where we need to connect three balls on top of four balls and then we can add let me see if this is yes okay we add another one to it and we add a third basic element what I want now is five on the row on the left, five on the row on the bottom and four on the right. I'm going to connect them to the back like that. I just need a few small adjustments to make it just perfect. So now we have another base with five on the bottom here. 5 on the row here and 5 on the row here and on top we have a circle of 9 on top of the 9 we are going to connect another 6 3, 4, 5, 6 on top of the 6 another 3 1, 2, 3 just let it grow now we go to the bottom of this thing and we add another one, two, three, four. Now we have to skip one, go there. And we add another nine, first five. Then we make an angle, add another four. And we skip one here as well. At the bottom, we add another three onto the four. And then onto the nine. I add another 9, 5, then from 5 make an angle, add another 4, so 5 plus 4 is 9, and on the back we have 3 here, and that is exactly the same as what I made here, 5, 5, 5, 5, we can add or connect the 5s to each other, and then we have a 5 here and a 5 here for this one to connect to so I just gently squeeze it in now we have the base of the pyramid and on top we need something with a little hole on top so we can put a string through like a shoelace or something like that here we add another layer of 6 this time I don't use the layer of 3 in order to keep a hole for the string then down here we need 4 and because we have 3 3 3 on top this time we do it a little different we skip one here add another 4 again skip one add another 4 and again skip this one then I add another 3 on this row of 4 I add another 3 and finally on this row of 4 I add another line of 3 now I have 3 balls left over I'm not going to use them I just need 213 out of the 216. This is going to be the top of the pyramid. I'll take a string now to go through. Already I prepared this string with a knot. You can see there is the knot. And it hangs like this. And all I need to do now is to place the top on top of the base of the pyramid. Like that and it's finished. So now you can hang your pyramids into the Christmas tree.